Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. My name remains Alexander Nyaku. You can just call me SRC. And guys, I've been off for a while. I am finally back. Today, I'm going to talk about funding opportunity. Yes, there's funding opportunity for students that would want to further on with their postgraduate studies. And yes, this is right here at KNUSC. Oh, thank you. Oh, a blaze. Actually, this is tailored towards students offering engineering related programs. So, yes, it's actually known as KIPS. Now, KIPS simply means KNST Engineering Education Project. The target groups are, of course, Ghanaians and West Africans. What I'm going to do in today's video is I'm going to show you how to apply for this scholarship scheme. And I'm also going to give you some tips on securing a funding opportunity right here in KNST. If you are new here, kindly hit the subscription button. And guys, please relax as I take you through everything you need to hear. Let's get right into the video. Hello guys, my name is KB. Please subscribe to SRC TV for amazing news in Ghana, KNUST and everywhere around the world. Bye, SRC TV, we are all right guys welcome back and thanks for staying tuned so as i said i'm going to actually talk about how to apply i'll talk about the requirement and then of course i'll give you some tips very very important now what is very very crucial over here is that if you have having intent for applying for the keeps funding support scheme that's it i mean applying for the keeps scholarship you should also have intent of applying for a postgraduate at knsc what this means is that you can't apply for the scholarship that's the key scholarship and then apply for a postgraduate program at a different university expecting to get funding from kids to do it at a different university it doesn't work like that no i mean to the best of my knowledge so what you should take notice if you have intent of pursuing your postgraduate at KNUST, i mean regardless of wherever you are coming from as far as africa is concerned you should try and you know attempt for this particular key scholarship as a way of getting you know funding to do whatever program you want to do now i'm going to show you how to apply for the keeps i'll also show you how to apply for the kenyan postgraduate program is very, very important and recognize i said that this particular scholarship scheme is tailored towards engineering and um, programs right so yes keep drop the flyer now you can see keep scholarship application 2023 2024 admission into phd mphil and msc programs in engineering enroll now applications are hereby invited from suitably qualified candidates for admission into thought and research masters and higher degree programs at the college of engineering all inquiries should be sent via email to keep at knsd.edu.gh now take note that this particular scholarship scheme that this funding opportunity has got a deadline and the deadline is on 30th september 2023 it's very very important so you need to start putting in your application very early now once once you apply for the keep scholarship you also need to you know apply for the KNST program you get it. so then i'm going to do two comparisons because first when you're applying for the KNST program there are certain requirements to meet the similar with keeps it's also a certain requirement however both requirements actually complement each other so i'm going to first consider the KNST um, admission requirement for postgraduate and then i'll i'll brief you guys on that and then i'll come to keeps and then you look at that also now with the KNST, i mean since it is engineering related um when you visit the KNST website which is knst.edu.gh knst.edu.gh you will be exposed to the KNST website. Now, after launching the KNST website, you click on admission. Now, you realize that other tabs will be displayed. So, from there, you select uh, postgraduate entry requirement and guidelines. Now, after doing this, more or less like a PDF will be displayed, right? So, in this situation, on the PDF, when you check the PDF and go to page 19, you see College of Engineering. So, from there, you see all the engineering related programs that KNST office for postgraduate students i.e mphil and then phd now since i'm related with the faculty of mechanical and chemical i'm going to slide to that particular um faculty engineering 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 <laughs> so 
bit so i'm at the faculty of mechanical and chemical engineering right so let's say if you want to pursue mphil in chemical engineering now let's let me read some of the requirements so and the department of chemical engineering we have mphil chemical engineering now candidates must have bachelor's degree minimum of second class upper division in chemical engineering or other engineering or science disciplines now consideration would also be given to candidates with second class lower division with at least three years of relevant work experience now all candidates should be required to submit a synopsis of their research proposal now this this aspect is very very important right so it means that if you have intentions of applying for postgraduate program at KNSC, i.e engineering related or let me narrow it down if it is going to be if you are going to be under the faculty of mechanical or chemical you should have what a synopsis of your research idea so synopsis is just like you should have an idea of whatever research you want to embark on like that so let me take that again all candidates shall be required to submit a synopsis of their research proposal clearly stating the members of staff willing to supervise the research what this also means is that before I mean you pick up the forms to apply, you should at least have some dialogue with some of the um, supervisors or some of the lecturers on campus and get to know at least some proposed lecturers you would want to work with, right? So from there, um, clearly stating the members of staff willing to supervise the research. Now, all candidates will be required to pass a selection interview and demonstrate the ability to fund or prove their source funds for their research. We'll call you. Uh, it's one for me. We are now going through the list. It's one for me. Yes. Now me me a kola. My friend, you are not simple. So, and I need so. And you mean you know me a kola? We will say no. We come and find the ones in a me me. From this year, we will say. So that is so. This is actually the requirement from the department, right? So the department after everything after you writing your synopsis and also stating clearly um your supervisors you are going to work with you should also prepare yourself um for i mean a selection interview where you'll be interviewed and you'll be asked some questions more importantly how you are going to fund your program and ladies and gentlemen that is where keeps come into the picture very very important so now so you realize that the synopsis they are talking about is very very important and as i said earlier that some of these requirements supplement each other with the keeps whatever you are going to provide to you know this particular KNC requirement at the end of the day keeps are also going to take some of those informations from there so it's very very important that you provide accurate information now with keeps when you visit keeps website which is keeps.knc.edu.gh now when you visit the website you are going to see announcement and at the announcement you are going to see admission into phd mphil and msc programs in engineering for the 2023-2024 academic year click on that click on that and then when you click on that you see another pdf like form which is a set of information or instructions which i'm going to read them out it's very very important now this particular pdf also constitutes the packages so for instance let's look at the entry requirements first so this is in confrontation with keeps right that's their requirement so keep says so in conformity with the entry requirement of the school of graduate studies Kwame Nkrumah university of science and technology the successful candidate should have a minimum of first or second class upper division in the first degree two for phd applicants a good master's degree with an average of at least 60 percent please refer to the postgraduate admission brochure now for specific requirements related to the program being applied for enthusiasm for leading edge research team spirit and capability of independent problem solving so i'm still on the entry requirements for the keep scholarship so proficiency in english that's oral and written excellent communication and leadership skills and then the age limit is 40 years wow so actually this is the first time i'm seeing this site so yeah there's an age limit 40 years into when the fifth year please don't do that don't apply don't mind okay <laughs> so now i'm um, on the master's program that's with, with regards to the scholarship so the college of engineering is pleased to announce that limited full and partially funded scholarship are available so limited full and partially funded scholarship now what this means is when we say limited full it means that they are full scholarship but they are limited now what the full scholarship tends to seek is that most of times it covers your fees 
it also gives you some stipend for your accommodation and everything so that becomes a full package right so it is limited which means that Charlie there's you know um, a limitation on it right don't try to optimize anything there's limitation on it and partially funded scholarship so with the partially funded what it also means is with that it's going to cover your fees but then you would have to keep that for you know whatever you're going to spend your your daily livings and those stuff so basically those are the two with the partial with the partially funded it's going to cover your fees with the fully funded it covers your fees and then it also has your stipends right it also provides stipends for your daily living those are the two so these two are available for applicants from Ghana and West African countries to pursue 18 months full-time MS program or 24 months MPhil in the following specializations. So yes, MPhil computer engineering, MPhil materials engineering, MPhil power systems engineering, MPhil chemical engineering, MPhil renewable energy technologies, MPhil telecommunications and Charlie, if you can. <laughs> okay, MPhil Mechanical Engineering, MPhil Bioengineering, MSc Renewable Energy Technologies. Now, also for our PhD candidates, so the college through the School of Graduate Studies KNSC is pleased to announce the availability of limited partial funding to pursue three year full time programs in the following. So, for the PhD, it is what's limited partial funding. So, same thing over here. Now, the programs are PhD Computer Engineering, PhD Telecommunications Engineering, PhD Electrical and Electronic Engineering, PhD Mechanical Engineering, PhD Sustainable Engin Engin Energy Technologies, PhD Bioengineering, and PhD Materials Engineering. Now, there's also um, a small extract I would like to read out. So, this is from KIS, that's KNS Engineering Education Project. So, and the College of Engineering of the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology has received funding from the Government of Ghana for the Development Impact Project as part of the World Bank Africa Centers of Excellence. Within this project, the college seeks to deliver high-quality postgraduate courses and conduct and disseminate applied research that addresses development challenges related to industrialization, digital development, energy systems, renewable energy manufacturing, exploration, and development of the oil and gas industry. Applications are hereby invited from suitably qualified candidates for admission into thought and research masters and higher degree programs at the College of Engineering. Now, the limited scholarship opportunity includes funding for PhD and MPhil positions in the below mentioned laboratories. Students who are accepted into these positions will have the opportunity to engage in research activities in the following laboratories. So, yes, you have the Power Systems Laboratory, Renewable Energy Laboratory, DIPA Laboratory, Responsible Artificial Intelligence Laboratory, Internet of Things Laboratory, Radio Frequency and Microwave Laboratory, a Cyber Security Laboratory, Sensors and Sensing Systems Lab, and of course, Computational Intelligence Lab. This full package, shall like crazy. Now, the application process is very, very important. How to apply? So, number one, interested candidates should click on. So, there is a link over there. Um, now, the, 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 the details they will require, right? So, a detailed curriculum vitae that is CV, an official academic transcript. So, your transcript is very, very important. Two letters of reference, one from a supervisor at the master's level. That's for PhD applicants. So you need two letters of references, very important. A copy of prior publications, if any. So if you have any publications, you can bring a copy. Now completed application form with two passport photographs, very important. And then certificates for BSc and MSc degrees. So I think the MSc is for those who want to apply for PhD. Right now, females candidates, sorry, female candidates are strongly encouraged to apply to this funding opportunities. Candidates interested in the key scholarship should visit this link. So there's a link, uh, there's a link over there. You should just um, visit it. In fact, when you visit the school's website, that's when you visit kids.kmc.edu.gh, you'll see all these things over there. Now, um, so Ghanaian students purchase the e-voucher based on information provided at admission portal and complete the relevant application document. And international students access the KNSC application form via admission portal and complete the application form and any other relevant relevant documents right so once the process has been completed candidates must print out two copies of the completed application form from the portal and submit signed copies to the school of graduate studies together with all relevant documents including photocopies of certificates recommendation letters and transcripts to the following address so right so whatever um, 
and whatever you are going to send should be sent to the secret secretariat that is the school of graduate and studies KNST Kumasi Ghana right so shortlisted candidates will be required to attend a selection interview in Kumasi this is very very important shortlisted candidates will be required to attend a selection interview in Kumasi or via telephone slash zoom right but i mean it's advisable to be there in person now the date of the interview will be communicated after shortlisting deadline the deadline is saturday 30th september 2023 that's the deadline now contact all inquiries should be sent via email to keep at kmc.edu.gh and so yes that is it about the keep scholarship this is your opportunity grab it grab it quick and fast because the deadline is approaching and you need to be fast and quick about it now before i go if you want to know more about kids you can follow them on their social media handles so on instagram it is keep underscore knsc on facebook it is keeps on facebook it is knsc.keep on twitter at keep knsc so guys that's it for the kids scholarship if you enjoyed this video kindly hit the subscription button and stay tuned for more and also kindly make good use of this opportunity tell your friend to tell your friend that yes there are funding opportunities at KNST so far as engineering is concerned and postgraduate studies is concerned. My name still remains Alexander Nyaku. You can just call me SRC. So we'll meet again. It's bye for now.